today's job is a, um, a little shaft that's used on a, um, a meter for a, um, a truck that uh, carries a diesel around and they have to meter it and they have to adjust, it, adjust the meter to, to calibrate it and um, you might be able to see, uh, well, I've got one in my hand here, um, this little the um, the little ball bearings where a where a, a little race in the uh, in the shaft. It's a tapered shaft, and uh, uh, that the shaft has to be adjusted up and down, and it just keeps falling back into the into the um, into the little race. So they just replaced the whole thing, but the whole thing's about a thousand bucks or a bit more. And um, so they discovered me, and um, that'll stuff around for them for a bit. Anyway, I've done one already and it's uh, worked quite success successful. So I've got the um, four jaw mounted into, a, into the three jaw. I've got this one set up. Um, uh, there's, uh, so she's running pretty pretty true within about uh, a, a tenth of a thou or so. Um, I've got the die, dr die grinder mounted in the um, in the tool post, and uh, I'll just the tool post is. Um, um, the compound is set at uh, just about three degrees, I think it is. And so we've got a whole heap of them here to do. Another one here, and uh, that'll keep them going for the next few years. Um, they just replace the balls, and um, and uh, and when I taper it, it'll end up a bit smaller, so it'll slide up, and the race will be running up here somewhere. So um, even if I don't get all that off. Uh, that one's quite a, quite a deep one. If we, even if I don't get it all off, it won't matter. It's going to run up here somewhere. So they've, they've still got a bit of movement and that they can uh, adjust it. Um, so that's that's uh, today's job. Um, it's a very old uh, die grinder. Um, I've just got a just a, a grinding wheel in it. I thought that might do the better job. I'll give it a bit of a, uh, a dress up on there on that edge. I'm just running on that little edge there. And the diagram has got a lot of play in it too. It moves backwards and forwards, so I'll um, and it doesn't seem to matter. But I'm only taking such a small amount off, and it just goes through quite slowly. And I'm getting a good finish at the, at the end, so um, I'll just rub. I uh, the last one I did, I just cleaned it up with a bit of um, uh, um, 800 wet and dry, and uh, the finish come up better than better than what it is. Um, I haven't taken too much off. It's still hard. Uh, there's no problem with that. taking it. That's what I thought might have happened. The hardness will go away. But, um, yeah, so that's our little job for today. And um, I'll stuff around. Um, I'll get up and I'll set the camera up and um, uh, again and I'll be back soon so that we can um, have a look at it um, actually cutting through. This should be my last pass now. Um, it's not much, not much left there. It actually looks like it's got um, little flat spots in it, but it's just a, it hasn't. It's just a reflection of, uh, of, of, of the, of the waves and whatnots around here. Yeah, so it's quite unusual. Yeah, so I'll, uh, I'll fire it up and just uh, give it one more run, and uh, we'll have a look at it then.
leave it at that. You can still see there's, there's still a tiny little bit of a, a mark there. But as the, um, as the, uh, the, because we've made it smaller, the ball bearings are going to run up a bit higher. So they're not going to even run anywhere near there. So they'll be up here somewhere. So I'll just put a little bit of um, wet and dry over that and, uh, and look through it, look, look through with a, with a magnifier or a, a, a microscope and uh, the, the finish is uh, it's coming up pretty good. Right, oh, no, that's it. Thank you.